My name is Gary Dahl. I'm a professor of pediatric hematology oncology at Stanford University, and I've been involved with uh, treating children with cancer for um, many, many years. When I started, the cure rate was very low, and at the present time, we're curing almost 80% of children with cancer. At the time when uh, I was starting taking care of patients who with leukemia, it was just called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And over the years, these different subgroups have been identified with different characteristics in the cell that tell us uh, where the, which cell type they come from. Uh, and it's important because it subtypes the leukemia and the therapies are different and more effective in different types of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. There's also uh, another cohort of patients, 20% of the leukemic population, which consists of acute myeloid leukemia, chronic myeloid leukemia, and juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia. These are very uh, rare when compared with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The incidence of acute lymphoblastic leukemia is uh, three to four per 100,000 children under the age of 15. And the peak incidence of this disease is between the ages of two to five. What caused this leukemia? Every patient, every parent wants to know, why did this happen to me? Let me show you what a bone marrow looks like in someone with leukemia. This is a picture of a bone marrow biopsy, and you can see the uh, pink line is bone, and the dark blue circles are leukemia cells. So a normal bone marrow would be full of normal precursors of regular cells, white cells, red cells, platelets, called uh, precursors called megakaryocytes. And so it would be a real nice growing garden of normal cells developing into the, the blood cells that make you uh, able to fight infection and breathe and stop bleeding. So usually when a child pre presents to the doctor with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, they have problems with a number of red cells, a number of white cells, a number of platelets, so they can have problems with with bleeding, being anemic, or they can have problems with bleeding, having extensive nosebleeds that won't stop, or little red spots all over their body called petechiae, and low numbers of normal white cells that fight infection. And the bone marrow is replaced by these cells. And when we make the diagnosis of leukemia, you have over 10 billion leukemia cells in your body. So the normal cells have been completely replaced by these cells. So our chemotherapy is given to empty the bone marrow of these abnormal cells and allow the body to repopulate the marrow with the normal precursors, red cells, white cells, and platelets. So that's kind of a summary of acute leukemia in pediatrics. Thank you.